<clears throat> Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHot.com and I'm doing another quick weekly recap of MMO news and announcements for the week ending February 20th. And as you can see from the video playing in the background, the first piece of news that we're going to take a look at has to do with Vindictus. And the news is that as of February 16th, 2011, Vindictus Episode 5, The Lost Artifact, has launched. And this is the latest expansion to Vindictus and Nexon has labeled it as the biggest update yet. The expansion increased the level cap to 60 from 44, adds 6 new bonus chapters to the game, new raid bosses and a new enchantment system and actually a bunch more too. Too bad the game isn't out in Europe yet and when the EU release date is announced I'll make sure to mention it on MMOHot.com and in a future video. Next up guys, on February 15th, 2011, YNK Interactive announced that they'll be adding a new Hunter class to Steel Online. The new Hunter class will be released on March 8th, and as you can guess, the Hunter class is a ranged DPS class who can actually use bows. Whoa, what a surprise, right? In addition to the new class, players can also expect other little updates to the game including new monsters and NPCs. And the gameplay video you're seeing in the background has nothing to do with this particular update, it's just a gameplay video for the game because Steel Online didn't really release any special videos for the update. Up next guys, on February 18th, 2011, G Potato launched their teaser website for Prius Online. So finally, G Potato is releasing some information about Prius, and the game will be coming out into close beta sometime in late March. Players can start grabbing beta keys for the game between March 4th and March 13th. There's no exact date on the closed beta, but the closed beta will likely begin right after they start giving away those keys. The gameplay video you're seeing in the background is exactly that, a gameplay video but from the Korean version of the game. It's cool to see G Potato finally releasing some information about the game because they announced that they would have the license to publish the game, but they really didn't say anything about Prius Online up until recently, so that's kind of cool. The G Potato version of the game will be available to those in North America, Europe, and Africa, so you don't have to worry too much about IP restrictions. Next up guys, on February 16th, I should probably do these in order, my last one was like February 18th, Sword 2 launches the update called Renaissance, and the Renaissance update called the 5.0 expansion adds a bunch of new features to the game. Some of the new features include a new cross-world PvP system, as well as a new region called Castilla with numerous zones inside of it. It also adds three new playable UPCs to the game. On top of all that, there's also a new achievement system in the game, as well as new costumes. Up next guys, on February 17th, 2011, Crossfire adds a brand new mode called the Hero Mode. To celebrate the launch of Hero Mode, Z8 Games, the company behind Crossfire, is celebrating with a bunch of in-game events. Now Hero Mode is actually pretty simple, one player randomly gets selected to become the hero, he has basically uh, adjusted stats to be more powerful, as well as a powerful new uh, machine gun with a grenade launcher attached to it and he has to work together with his team to fight mutants. In addition to the launch of the new hero mode, several new weapons have been added to the game including the M4A1E variant, the dual Uzis, and the golden Gatling gun, as well as 5 new ribbon achievements. Crossfire is already a really popular MOFPS and the way I look at it is the more modes the better. Oh and I almost forgot, there's a new hero mode exclusive map called Merida as well. Next up guys, Gravity Interactive launched the Kairos Unleashed update for their game Dragon Saga. The Kairos Unleashed update adds a whole bunch of new things to Dragon Saga in including new maps as well as new quests. Players can expect 5 new bosses, 4 new maps as well as some new skills in the game. Two features that were added to the game include the new street stall system and a PvP tournament system. And for you guys that didn't know, Dragon Saga used to be called Dragonica Online in North America but was renamed to Dragon Saga once Gravity ended up buying the game's developer. The next and last piece of news this week guys is that as of February 17th, 2011, the Solstice Reborn server is up. And what this basically means is the new, fully revamped version of Secret of the Solstice from Outspark has finally been launched. Now keep in mind, it's the same exact game, but it's been renamed to Solstice Reborn and a lot of things in the game have changed. This is the official trailer for the game, and some of the things that changed are new graphics, there you go, but the graphics are largely the same, it's been polished up a bit. The game has new skills, a slightly new leveling curve, new monsters, new areas, new quests, and things like that. If you like Secret of the Solstice, you definitely want to give Solstice Reborn a try. Well guys, that's it for news, but as for upcoming games, we got nothing. But for games that are recently launched, we have Pandora Saga, which as of February 15th, 2011, exited open beta into full release. Even though there's no difference between full release and open beta these days, the game is now in full release. But with the launch of the full release update to the game, the level cap has been increased to level 44, the item shop has been added, and a new Clash of the Nations feature, which is a PvP freefall, has also been added to the game. In addition, Atlas Online announced that next month they'll be adding third job class tiers to the game. Well guys, that's it for MMO news and announcements for the week ending February 20th. If you want to read about or learn more about any of the announcements I mentioned in this video, head on over to mmohot.com news. Anyway guys, this is Omer, signing off.